Fatherlessness, the silent struggle of our time. The Bosco House teaches young men to stand for what is right. Shout only the truth and listen to those wiser than themselves for the purpose of the love of God. Hello guys, I'm here today. I want to I just want to tell you quick things, you know. Most importantly what I want to talk about is, you know, bad things happen. It happens to everybody, it happens to bad people, and unfortunately, you know, it happens to good people. And you know, when the bad things happen to good people and they don't know how to get over it, you know, they always find a different mean for a way out. And sometimes that mean isn't always positive. It's more towards a negative approach. And when bad things happen to the youth and they have no direction and they, and they do not understand how to get out, you know, it all, they also have negative meanings. But I'm going to show you a positive mean and I'm going to show you how to find a positive way to get over the bad things that have, has happened to you and so you can get over it. World War I was something that soldiers were faced with in, in the trenches and they basically had no control over their own destinies. They had absolute no control because you know it was a stalemate and, and you know to really define what a stalemate is is when you're in a position and you're stuck and you're making no progress forward, nor backwards. You're just there. So uh, how that ties in into your reality is, is that it ties in because sometimes you can, you can be faced with a certain circumstance, and when you're faced with that, a, a negative one per se, you know, you don't know how to get over it. So therefore, you're in a stalemate. You can't go back and you can't go forward. You're just stuck in that position. And you have to find a way to get out. Well, let's go back to World War I. Okay, so those guys, they were, struck, they were stuck in trench, trench warfare. And the only way they could really get out is if guys were covering down fire for them and, you know, actually holding down the line. So that's the only way they could get out. So they did find a way to get out of the stalemate. And that was one because they had their buddies right beside them covering. Now let's move forward and put this in our life's perspective. So if you find yourself in a stalemate, let's say you came from an abusive childhood, nobody's there, nobody's looking for you, nobody, you know, is there to, to help you get over that position you're in. Well, this is what you can do. This is what you ultimately can do. You could go out, reach for help, and look. Because once you look for something, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be positive or it can be negative. If you look for something long enough, you're eventually going to find it. So if you are in a position where you're trying to get over bad things that has happened to you and you want to progress forward, then go out, look for somebody who is strong-willed. You cannot hang with the weak because the weak will only bring you down and they will not build you up. That's why you have to find somebody that is stronger than yourself. And what that is called, that is called being humble. You have to be humbled in order to get over horrible things that has happened. It doesn't matter what it is. It could range from a variety of things from sexual abuse to physical abuse to emotional to, to even mental. You know, all forms of abuse are, are horrible things to get over with. And that's why you have to humble yourself and find people that are better than you. So ultimately, all the bad things that happen, whether it's small or large, you know, ultimately, you know, you have to get over it. You have to decide right then and now, is that, is that what you want to do? Do you want to stay stuck in the stalemate? Or do you want to progress forward and be you and be all that you can be?